On today's show, I have Rowan and Rudy from Smith Immigration and Educational Service join me in the studio. Thanks so much for coming on today. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. So tell me um, a bit about your uh, Smith's Education, Immigration and Education Service. Okay, so we've opened an office in Waigani and we offer education and immigration services to people who want to study in Australia and their families. So I know a lot of uh, Papua New Guineans want to come down and study down in Australia, but it can be very confusing to figure out where to start. So we're uh, education migration agents and we encourage people to contact us and make an appointment. And we can discuss with them about what they'd like to study, what their career goals are, um, where they would like to live. And we can work out, um, we can provide them with information about the different course types available and the different locations in Australia and the different institutions right. they might want to study at and then help them make a decision about where they'd like to go. And then once they've decided that, we will, um, we will help them uh, prepare their applications and get an offer letter at their chosen, in their chosen course. And once that process is finalised, we help out with the student visa application, which can be quite a headache. We take yes. care of all of that. So parents can, I mean, pe people who are interested in studying can come and see you, you can help them with all, all of that. Yeah, from thing. start to finish, um, from course advice to uh, enrolment applications yeah. and getting them a place and then getting the student visa uh, applications in the system and with their immigration medical examinations etc and then once that's all finalized uh, they're ready to go and start studying. So how long have you guys been in operation in PNG? Uh, five years. Okay yeah and um, Rudy's the national coordinator is that correct? She's our country manager. Country manager sir. Yes, right. Wow. That's so you, you, might, you probably have seen a lot of students uh, come through your, well, you've helped a lot of yeah, students in the studying past. Yeah, in the past. Yeah, we have, um, and we're starting to see more, and okay. our, um, we just like to get the message out there that the process is complicated and okay. can be confusing, but uh, there is help available, and uh, we can help you out from the beginning of the process through to the time that you start studying, and then once you're in Australia, if you uh, you know, if, if you want to continue to study something else after you've finished the program, obviously we're there to help as well. Are you the only immigration and education service here in PNG? Um, I'm not sure. I know there are some others that assist with Australian visas and some others that assist with the education side of things. I'm not sure if there's a, uh, an organisation that does the whole package. Okay. So yeah. you would do both? In with the education, not just the immigration component. That's yeah. correct, yeah, from start to finish, the whole, the whole package. We like to call ourselves a one-stop shop. <laughs> so where are you guys located and how can, you know, people come in, interested people come in? Yeah, visit? we'd love to uh, talk to people uh, who uh, have aspirations to study in Australia and, and who are getting ready to do that. Um, we invite people to come for an appointment at our office. Uh, there's no fee to come and have a chat with us. Uh, so um, we've got our contact details, whether I can tell you now or whether you put them up on the yes, screen Yes, we'll, yeah, we'll put it up later on. Yeah, this, yeah. but uh, yeah, please give us a call um, or send us an email and let us know when you'd like to come for an appointment and we are open five days a week. Great. Yeah. So how would, so how would uh, the process look like from start to finish if I was an interested student? Okay, if you were interested, um, like I said, uh, make an appointment with us um, and if you're a younger person, um, bring, your, bring your parents and come and sit down at our office and while you're there you can collect some brochures and have a look around at the different uh, options and stuff that we've got available. Talk with us about what you'd like to do, uh, what, what studies have you completed to date, what work history have you got, if, if any, um, and where would you like to end up, where are you going in your career and what would you like to study and we'll provide you with some idea about a pathway to get from where Great. you are now to where you want to go. So if you're able to go straight to university now and that's what you want to do, great. If, you're, uh, if you'd like to go to university but you wouldn't be able to enter directly because you haven't completed the required yeah. studies before, we can help you find a, a pathway first, whether you go to TAFE first or a college okay. first and then go into university. And then we can present you with the different uh, course options and costs. So, um, you know, different universities have different... Uh, courses available, they have different costs, different durations, some universities are ranked higher and, and a bit more wow. prestigious than others. Yes. So, so you help, I mean you, you literally walk with people through the journey, people come and see you don't really need to 
have an idea about what they want to do, you can actually assist them. From we can, the if they've got no idea. We often yeah. find with Papua New Guineans that they've um, done a lot of research themselves. Okay. <laughs> and they, some of them have very strong ideas about where they want to go. And they come to us and they say, look, I want to go to, you know, QUT and I want to study a Bachelor of Engineering and I want to start, you know, next semester. <laughs> and that's great. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> what they often want our help with is getting the enrolment and everything finalised and then also getting the student visa applications lodged and okay. finalised. And where we can be of particular assistance is when people um, have possibly also uh, left the process a little bit late okay. and then they come to us and they say, hey, help please. It, it does help to have a professional assistance because we can communicate directly with, with the universities to get those offers yeah. out as, you know, as quickly as possible. Great. And yeah. is there any um, last remarks you'd like to make? Um, not at all, other than to say if you're planning on studying in Australia, we encourage you to contact us early in the piece and uh, come for an appointment and uh, talk with us about what you'd like to do. Well, it's been a pleasure having you both on the show. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, Diane.